guys, Sean here. Today we got kind of a more advanced knife knowledge video. We're going to be talking about rope cut testing and basically how do you actually test the steel with that? What component does that test? Well, actually what that tests is it tests the wear resistant properties of the steel. One problem you find though is people aren't getting rid of the variables involved with rope cut testing. So there's three variables. One of them is going to be the actual geometry of the blade, how thick it is at the spine, how thick it is uh, behind the edge, and then the actual edge geometry itself. Uh, the second one is going to be actual edge finish. Do you have a coarse edge? Do you have a polished edge? Do you have a polished toothy edge? Uh, last one is do you actually have uh, apex knife? Is the knife actually sharpened? Okay. So without limiting those three variables right there, you are not testing the steel. You are testing those three attributes. Okay. So as a test to demonstrate that, I have a Kiwi knife with a subpar steel. This is a $5 knife. You can buy these at Asian markets. And you can see here, I've actually removed the edge completely, okay? That is not going to cut me. That's not what you do with a sharp knife right there, okay? You cannot cut paper, okay? It's not capable of cutting paper, even with a slow cut. You can see right there, it's not able to cut paper, all right? So completely dull, okay? There's no edge on here whatsoever. Not at all. I'm really beating a dead horse right now. You can see there is no edge on it. Okay? Nothing. Completely dead. And then just double check that. Look at that. No edge. It's a completely plateaued. But if you don't know when to stop with the rope cut testing, okay, look at this. Because the geometry is so thin on this knife, I'm still able to get cuts out of Manila rope. Oh my god. This knife is holding an edge longer than S110V. This is impressive. Oh my god, dude. This is so crazy. This is the best steel ever. I got this knife for what? Like six bucks, dude. Oh my god. Whoa. And the problem is, people have not gotten rid of the variables involved. I am putting all the force I can into cutting this rope right now. Okay, all the force I can. So you can basically cut forever if the knife is thin enough, okay? You can just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and add more and more and more force. So make sure you know what you're testing. Are you testing the steel or are you testing those other variables that I told you guys about? So unless you limit those, the rope cut testing is not testing how wear resistant the steel is. And also, wear resistance is not the end all be all on the maximum performance of a knife. It's just one component of edge holding. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. Take care.